Well, good evening, YouTube. Hey, this is my last video for the night. Uh, thanks for coming along with us to the baseball game. That was some good fun. And I uh, had a great time with Katie, my sister-in-law. She got to come, and uh, we yucked it up pretty good. So that was a good time. And uh, I'll put some links in the, uh, in the descriptions if you want to read up about that league, that vintage baseball league. That was really cool. So, I was going to show you my yard sale scores today. So, it was hit and miss. It was a super smoky day today. There's fires everywhere. Um, we were surprised to see any sales, but we did hit a few. And uh, I scored big. So, if you want to stand by here, I'll flip you around and I'll walk you through some of the stuff. Some of the stuff I've already put away, but I'll, I'll, I'll go through the highlights. Okay? Let's do it. First thing, this is my anchor item. Well... Yeah, this is definitely my anchor item is I picked up this Cannondale. Um, it is a beautiful 21 speed STI Campanolo. I mean, if I told you what I paid for this bike, um, it would blow your mind. But uh, I got this and all the accessories. And um, I will uh, do a, I'll do a picture of the stuff laid out because I've already got this already posted and uh, ready for sale. I picked up this little cooler. I'm gonna clean it up and take it down to the booth. Uh, it's so cute. The big bobber floating cooler. And uh, I've got some stuff in here. What'd we get? Yeah, look at this. A full-on replacement globe. Brand new in the case there. Got a um, engineering logistics compass. Yeah, the compass. Got this big uh, ten bucks. Look at that. It's a uh, Pier Mariner pen. Uh, I know. I know just what the, even even just the Dacron on there uh, is probably thirty bucks just for the just for the line that's on this reel. Uh, I'll get this one cleaned up, and I'll probably get fifty or sixty for this. But uh, this will be fun. I'll get this cleaned up and get this down to the booth tomorrow. Let's see. We've got a nice clean cribbage board still in the box. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to put my sugar in this. I got this nice little jug of lead here. Two interesting propane. I like this propane adapter. It looks like it's going to go on the bottle. And then it's going to have a small output. And then uh, again uh, inside the bottle and inverted. And then it looks like I've got a so again, any time ever that you see propane hoses, here's another hose that I picked up for three bucks. It's it doesn't even look like it's ever been used. Uh, it's just it's just when you're a collector of stoves and you and you're looking for something uh, to fit, it's nice to have options. I grabbed this entire box of sockets. They're all American made. Every one of them, USA, three-quarter, um, deeps. I've already put this many of them. I didn't get this this handle, but I've already put this many of them, starting to put them on the, the rack. we got these heavy-duty handles for having around the, the place. We have this little vintage Zebco uh, fishing uh, weight, or, um, yeah, D liar it's called <laughs> that's funny uh i got something interesting that i'm cooking up and i hope this works but it's just a cheapo uh, 1080p web camera i'm gonna try and uh actually clean up my videos a little bit uh but we'll see how that goes that's a winter project for sure and then i forget what's in this what is in this oh it's a really nice set of darts yeah okay that's cool uh, let's see, I got this little 50 cent double, you can put stuff, a little fishing tackle, little, you know, bits in there on the, in the lid, and then closes again, that was 50 cents. What else did we get over here? I think that's it. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know if you, uh, are hip on, like, what these floating baits, like this power bait, this guy right here might be three to five dollars <clears throat> uh, to buy of course 
they're not all full, but salmon eggs, uh, frog pork, uh, trout bait, just, I mean, uh, I don't know what these little gizzards or whatever, what is that? Pork rind baits. Oh, I like the, I like the guy smoking the pipe. That's cool. Uh, what is this? Some little giblet. Now that's just this side. And we get to do it again on this side. There's another really cool scale. I like this one. I actually kind of like this one better than that one. But here, what do we got? Some rubber bands, some fishing tips, and another, I don't know, 10 things of bait. So I'll go through that, throw out anything that's no longer any good. But these are really nice to have in the boat or just around uh, for fishing. Uh, of course, I showed you this lead. Anytime that you find lead right now, grab it. It's, it's, it lead is worth a fortune. Up, uh, I moved a couple things in here. Let's see, was it was there something over here? No. Alright. So I already have a box this big filled with drill bits. These drill bits are brand new. They've never been used. Okay? They've been opened. Uh, the, I got these from a guy that said that he was a, uh, a coastal when they got bought out, he was a store manager. And I mean, just look at the bottom of this. It is bit after bit after bit. I mean, look at this bit. Here's a steel, never been, been I mean, I don't, I don't know what that one bit right there goes for, but I bet you it's, you know, at least 10 bucks, maybe 20, I don't know. So this, these are the, doubles and triples I've already put together three different sets that look like this almost the same amount of drill bits that I already have posted so either that that um, either the bicycle and all the accessories will be the anchor item or it'll be the drill bit score uh, picked up this really nice Primus propane uh, heater it's a really nice one. It's it's small. It's super compact. It'll go, it goes right on the one pound bottles. It's vintage, and if it was used twice, I would be very surprised. So that's keeper. Then I move on to my favorite scores. I'm gonna uh, put put it in the uh, so I can go hands free. Hold on. All right. So I picked up these four flashlights. Uh, I'm a flashlight hound for quality flashlights. These are Pelican, uh, I think this is a Pelican one here, let me see if it says Made in USA. This is a, this is a first responders waterproof uh, uh, LED flashlight, it's a stunning light, uh, it's got different modes uh, here, it, it, it also has a, a two stage bulb. The guy was telling me about that uh, if for some reason this bulb goes off, you can actually swing this over to the side and still make the bulb work. Uh, I'll have to put put uh, maybe I'll do a segment on this. I got two more now. I already have a streamlight. It's my go-to light. Uh, it's with me all the time, and I picked up a second streamlight. This is LED. This is different. Mine's analog. It's just got a regular bulb. This has one, two, three, four. This has seven uh, L LEDs in there. But Streamlight is a big time first responder, uh, life safety uh, folks use these, I think almost exclusively. Uh, I, I have these cases already. I, I put the, or I got these cases at a different sale. So I, I put them together with this one and another one here, I think this is a Pelican UK 4AA. I'm pretty sure this is a Pelican. It's either a Streamlight or a Pelican. And again, I'll get those going, get those in my collection. And then I picked up not one, but two Leatherman 
Leatherman Monarch 500 uh, water sealed LED flashlights. These are absolutely beautiful and they, they'll go real nice, you know, with a Leatherman. I'll sell these. I'll probably keep one and sell the other one with an actual Leatherman tool as a combo. But uh, anyway, this is these are my, this is my favorite thing that I got. Of course, the other the other things are the other things are good good for the booth and and resale and and just prime the pump for the next week and the next week. So anyway, I thought I'd uh, run you through the yard sale scores for today. Thanks for bearing with me. And if you got any questions or uh, comments, let me know. And uh, I need to get over and take a look at all your guys' uh, channels uh, tonight and tomorrow. So. Have a great evening, and I'll see you on Sunday for some coffee. Good night.